All right, let's do it. Welcome to the ClickUp Vlog. I'm Eric. You may notice my voice from those award-winning tutorial videos we have on our website. The right sidebar is also where you can take charge of formatting your doc with advanced typography. But they finally let me step in front of the camera to show you how you can be more productive on a consistent basis, whether it's setting goals, managing multiple projects, or just passing the time while you wait for your coffee. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can start writing effective OKRs. OKRs are one of the most popular goal management methodologies used by companies like Google, Netflix, and Twitter. They're the secret sauce, no, not that sauce, to creating an alignment around measurable goals in an organization. OKR stands for Objectives and Key Results, and when appropriately used, it can help teams meet today's goals while progressing for tomorrow's challenges. Implementing a goal-setting system like OKRs can be intimidating. Where do we start? What are the right objectives to focus on? How do we measure results? What even are OKRs? Trick question. I just answered that. Whether you're in the middle of a restructure in your business, looking for inspiration for company goals for the upcoming quarter, or seeking writing tips to improve your OKRs, we've got you covered. In the OKR methodology, there are two types of relationship statuses, I mean goals, committed and aspirational. Committed OKRs are the agreed upon goals prioritized to reach company success. People, resources, and schedules are rearranged to ensure they get done. Companies want to achieve 100% of their committed OKRs. Aspirational OKRs, or moonshots, are ambitious and more challenging to accomplish, kind of like my dating life, but they push us to think outside of the box and innovate. Unlike committed OKRs, they don't have a clear path for completion or actual knowledge of how to get there. So if you've completed at least 70% of your aspirational OKRs, congratulations, give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah, sure, go ahead, do it. Before we dive into how to create OKRs, let's walk through the difference between objectives, key results, and tasks. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hold up, aren't key results the same as tasks? Key results are outcomes, not tasks. Acknowledging this will help you convert good OKRs to effective OKRs. Now you've most likely seen this OKR formula. I will, insert objective here, as measured by, insert key result here. Now a trick to help differentiate a key result and a task is to think of a key result as a goalpost and a task as the tactics or activities to get there. Now that we know the distinction between an objective, key result, and a task, let's dive into the writing tips. Tip number one, choose between three to five objectives. An objective answers the question, what's the immediate problem, change, or desired outcome we want? Aim for quarterly instead of yearly objectives to manage targets easier. Some examples of objectives would be create manager development programs, or scale video production team, or get this guy off my screen. Not gonna lie, that one kinda hurts my feelings. Tip number two, choose between three to five key results per objective. A key result answers the question, how will we know if we meet our objective? Each key result is time bound, specific, and includes a number. Some examples of key results for those objectives would be interview 20 managers to determine gaps in career development, hire two editors and four video coordinators, and turn off the monitor. Once again, that hurts my feelings. Tip number three, Use distinct and basic terminology. Don't go throwing around words like concordantly or ostentatious like you just finished reading the dictionary. Objectives and key results should be easy for others to understand. Tip number four, communicate to foster a great corporate culture. Companies should use an employee communication platform available on both mobile and desktop to meet the needs of a hybrid workforce. This is also an opportunity for employees to learn about big and small wins from different departments. And finally, tip number five, use ClickUp. I mean, use a project management tool. A project management tool is a valuable asset to merge alignment, accountability, and engagement in one place. ClickUp takes goal setting management a step further with goals. A dedicated ClickUp feature. Your objective are your ClickUp goals. Your key results are your ClickUp targets. And your activities are your ClickUp tasks. At the end of the day, find a place to start. Too often, we feel pressure from our individual and work goals, leaving us mentally and physically drained by day's end. So we say yes to every request and tell ourselves it's just part of the job. Or if you're like me, you don't even remember what you've agreed to. Hey Eric, you still good to cover my shift this weekend? What? OKRs help establish boundaries and encourage us to say no when asked to pursue the wrong things. We hope these examples and tips give you clarity and structure to optimize your writing process. I'm not covering that shift. 